what, do, what would you say to, for example, those who currently want to scrap the Human Rights Act or, or um, dilute it in some way and on, the, on the basis that it somehow impacts upon parliamentary sovereignty, which you've also spoken in favour of, I think, many times? Yes, I am an, um, an unashamed um, supporter of the principle of parliamentary sovereignty, which means, of course, that Parliament, save in matters... Uh, in which it's lent its authority to somebody else, uh, is sovereign. And as Professor Bogdanor has said, what the Queen in, act, in Parliament enacts is law. Well, so it is. But so far as the Human Rights Act is concerned, Parliament has passed an Act of Parliament uh, that says public authorities in the United Kingdom, including courts, shall act in a manner consistently with the rights set out in the schedule to the Act, which are the main rights in the Convention. And there's no option. It doesn't say it may apply these things, or it can if it likes to, or needn't, whatever. It, it says it must. Now, um, Parliament could revoke that. Uh, the effect of revocation would be extremely uh, limited, because we're still bound by the Convention. We signed it in 1951. We drafted it. We were the first country to sign it and the first country to ratify it. So we've been bound by it since 1951, and all we did in 1998 was to say, instead of having to wait for years and spend a lot of money going to Strasbourg to try and assert your rights there without the benefit <coughs> for the European judges of any judgment in this country, uh, you can assert your rights here and the courts must give effect to them. Uh, the, the result of that, partly, uh, has been um, that our record in Strasbourg, while not immaculate, has been much better. We had uh, had about 150 cases in which the United Kingdom was held to have violated the convention. And although I don't know how many there have been since our courts were applying the act, it, it would only be uh, a handful. Uh, and to those who say these are spurious rights and why are they so important, uh, I would say, and I'm afraid Charmy's heard me say this before, well, which of these rights exactly would you wish to do without? Would you not wish to protect the right to life? Would you not wish to prohibit torture and cruel and inhuman treatment or punishment? Would you not want uh, to eliminate uh, slavery? Would you not want to give a potent guarantee of personal liberty? Would you not want to give people a fair trial, and uh, so on. There is, uh, I suggest nothing here that any of us would gladly forego uh, 